In this video, we're going to see how we can roll back or basically go to a previous version of our WordPress of a plugin or a theme. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So, uh, let's say that we have upgraded our WordPress or a plugin or a theme and something is not working correctly. Now we have to go and uh, install the previous version of that uh, plugin or theme or WordPress core file and uh, put the version that was working and then go and uh, inform the uh, person that is releasing updates for that plugin or theme and tell him that it's a conflict or something, a bug and please uh, make a fix or uh, bring us an update to fix that. So, first thing is take a backup of your website. Do not do anything before getting a backup. Even if you have a bug here and your WordPress is not working correctly, do take a backup now because maybe something will break your website and you will lose data. So, uh, it's better to take a backup even if it's a broken backup. So please do that first. Now, if you have also the uh, method to take and create a staging environment and test the uh, methods that we're going to use in a staging environment, it would be great. If you can, okay, it's not the end of the world, but please do take a backup first. In this video, we're going to use two different plugins. The one is for the WordPress core file and the other is for the plugins and themes. Of course, there are more uh, there are more ways to do uh, a rollback to a previous version, but I think that these are the easiest methods. So we're going to start by using this plugin, the WP downgrade, to uh, roll back uh, to a previous WordPress uh, installation. So I'm going to copy that, and of course I'm going to put uh, the links for these plugins in the description below. So let's copy that. Let's go to the plugins, install plugins. And we're going to click here that says add new. I'm going to paste here the plugin and I'm going to install it. Install now. Let's go to a dashboard and home. And here I'm going to see that the version that I have right now is the WordPress 7, uh, 5.7 as you can see. And I'm running the Astra theme. Let's go back here and let's activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you can go into the settings and then WP downgrade and you will find yourself inside here. So uh, this should be empty, but it was uh, of a test that I was doing. So here it says the exact version number that you should put in here and you can click the link in the WP releases to find the exact number. These are all the releases of WordPress, as you can see, and they can go way back. Uh, all of those releases are stable. They are not uh, alpha or beta or release candidate or anything. They are all stable. So you have to go to a previous version that your uh, website was working. Let's say that something broke in the version 5.7 and we want to go back to the 5.6.2. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste here. Do not go and write it, just copy and paste to be sure that you're doing everything correct. I'm going to click here that says save changes and after that, as you can see, uh, I will get here a, a link that it says update the core. You can click here or you can go into the dashboard and updates. It's the same thing. And here you will find that you have the latest version of WordPress and then you have a button that says reinstall the version 5.6.2 and this is what you should do. You have to click here and of course this will tell you the version that you have paste and not the version that I'm seeing also except if you're doing the same thing. And after that it will basically update or downgrade to the version that you have selected. As you can see now I have the WordPress 5.6.2. Now as long as the plugin is inside my WordPress uh, files, my WordPress plugins, I will not get any updates, any notification about updates. Uh, the website, the WordPress will think that the latest update is the version 5.6.2 and no matter what version we will have, maybe we will have 7 after one year, I will not get anything inside here. I, for uh, the notification to go and appear here, I have to go inside my plugins and I have to go in installed and I have to go here that says uh, WP downgrade, deactivate and delete. Of course, uh, once it's delete, you can now update to the version uh, 5.7, but 
there is no point, uh, of course, because we did the rollback just to uh, correct some bugs. Now, keep in mind that there are some hosting uh, companies like SiteGround that has an automatic update for some versions, and you may uh, see that your website will go back to the version that was previously installed and updated. So keep in mind that you may have to go into uh, the, your hosting company and disable something if you see that it's done automatically. So uh, that was for the WordPress core files. Let's go and see how what we can do for the plugins and for the themes. For that, we're going to use the WP rollback and I'm going to copy that. And let's go to the plugins. Let's go to add new. And let's go and paste that here. And let's go in appearances and themes. And we're going to open the Astra just to see what we have here. As you can see, we have 3.1.2. Okay, I'm going to close that. And I'm going to install the WP rollback and activate that. Once activated, you can see that you have the rollback button inside your plugins here. And I can go into any of those and let's go to the Gutenberg and I can click here that says rollback. And now I can select the version that are here. Of course, uh, those rollback versions are brought to us by the WordPress repository. So if you have a plugin that it's a premium and it's, it is paid, you may not see the versions here. You have to do it. Uh, you have to do another uh, method to update to that or roll back to that. Let's go back and let's see the next, which is the start and plates. And I'm going to roll back to a previous version. So we're going from the 2.6.2 that it's now to the 2.5.0. You can also view the change log as it says here, and I'm going to click the rollback and I'm going to click also the rollback here. And this will do exactly the same. It will go and download those files. And now I have to go and activate that. And I will get here the version 2.5. Of course, I immediately have the notification to update, but I'm not going to. Now, if you have a pro version, you have to go and download the files from the premium website that you have paid or you have an account from and then you can go and delete here the plugin that you have the pro version of the plugin and then upload a new one the settings are in most cases and i'm not saying it's 100 percent correctly but in most cases are saved in the database so you will not have any problems uh, for most plugins but i'm not sure because i don't know every single plugin that there is out there if it has uh, somewhere to click and says uh, push here, click here, accept uh, that, and uh, this will delete all the settings once it's uh, uh, deactivated, then you have to uns unselect that. If it doesn't, maybe it will keep all the settings inside the database, but I cannot speak for all the plugins that are, are out there. So let's go and see in the appearance and inside the themes how we can roll back to a previous version. If I click here and see, in the theme, sorry, you cannot see anything here. So let's go and refresh the page because I opened that before the plugin was installed. And then I'm going to click once more. And as you can see, I have the rollback button inside here. This version is the 3.1.2 and I'm going to click rollback. And now again, I have all the previous version. I'm going to click the 3.1 and I'm going to click rollback then roll back again and of course the same method and it will download the files of course uh, as we did in the plugins this only uh, applies to the themes that are free and uh, it takes the files from the wordpress repository if it's a premium theme you have to download it again and upload it that so uh, that was the video guys this is how you do uh, the rollback to a previous version. Hopefully it will help you. It's not the only way, but I think it's the easiest way. So uh, please take a backup before doing anything. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.